Yes, well, that's an easy mistake to make. You know, for years, I thought the show Star Trek took place under the sea. Great work today, bud. And I'll see you Wednesday for Peebo Bryson. And make sure the lights are turned up, because that motherfucker is dork. Right, I know, that's what I saw. It's right there in the name, Star Trek. Oh, great. If it had been underwater, it would have been Star Voyage. Well, no, I mean, the star part refers to the fact that all the characters are played by famous actors. Anyways, listen, I gotta go. Ciao. Adam, my dear boy, it is so good to see you. It is so good to be back. Yeah, well, it's great to see you too, because actually, there's something I've been meaning to tell you, Dracula. Oh my God. Adam, are you dying? No. Oh, well, fuck. You're fired. You can't fire me. Why not? Because I quit. Great, I'll see you later. I quit being fired. Very clever. The joker's trick. Mm. I tell you, it's really nice in here, by the way. Uh, frankly, I'm... Proud? Yeah, I'm really proud. Thanks, man. Of myself. I can't believe I put all this together for you in such a short amount of time. Listen, man, feel however you want, but the show's a hit. We don't need you anymore. Well, I'll tell you what. I know when I'm not wanted somewhere, and I'm starting to get that vibe now. So I'll see myself off. I just have to get my Nintendo 64. <laughs> oh, come the fuck on. Oh. Get out of here. You can't do this to me. We need each other. We're in love. No, we're not. I'm going to have your baby. You know what? I'm going to call the fucking cops. And I'm going to tell them that you raped me. And I'm going to tell them that you're a Dracula. And is that a crime, Adam? Is it a crime? I can't believe this. Listen, man. We appreciate all your help, you know? I'm sure there are other projects you could work on. I don't want to work on other projects. I just want people to like me for who I am. That's not how the world works. Like, sometimes some people are just villains. So that's it, huh? You're just not racist anymore? No more Indian guy voice? No more Nanette stuff? We never were racist. We just needed you to... Uh, needed uh, me? You used me. We didn't use You me. used me, Adam. What's this? Oh, this? Uh, it's the new episode. Uh, we did like a ballet and... A ballet? Know. Yeah, we had Chris Cuomo. It was pretty cool. You wanna watch it? Adam, this is, this is the gayest thing I've ever seen. Thanks, man. Adam, this is Jusance. It's Jusance. This is what we were after the entire time, and you guys did it. Without me. I'm sorry. You don't need me. Um, so you're gonna go now? I will. But before I leave, know this. If you ever find yourself staring at the pale moon and hearing the children of the night howl out towards it and you shall find yourself in need of me. Howl back, Adam. Howl back and I will be there for you. Well, I mean, there is one thing you could do for us. I, I think you owe us. We've earned it. Oh, yes. You can keep the Nintendo it's, 64. It doesn't belong to you. Listen, you know what it is. All right. Okay, I'll make the call. Where's my phone? Where the fuck is my phone? I don't know where. I don't know where. Where did my fuck go? There it is. I'll make the call. All right. Hello, it's Dracula. The vampire? Yes, listen, there's a talk show that I created and...
I'm sorry. There's a talk show my friends created. I think you'd be great for it. What's your availability next week? You're free. Great. Okay, we'll chat soon. I want to finish that argument about Star Trek. What? We're good to go. We booked it? Sure did. No. Yes. I tell you what, I didn't know about you early on, Adam. But you're ready, kid. You're ready for the big time. And now, I bid you adieu. Ladies and gentlemen, the best rapper alive, I suppose, Jada Kiss. Everyone. This is a. I feel. Yeah, welcome, sir. Thanks for having me. My main fear is this, right? You know how my generation of Jewish boys are. Like, Actually, I, I don't. Want to I don't want to be a Michael Rappaport right now. What's wrong like, with Mike? I like Mike. I don't want to be like, oh, the five pillars of hip hop. You can't be Mike, though. You no, gotta I be. I just you. want to be myself. You know, I want to be cool too. You know, you're the you're the coolest guy in the Being world. Being yourself is the coolest you can be. Thank you. I feel a little bit like Justin Bieber when he like went up to Usher in the parking lot and saying, "You got it bad." Huh. Like this is my shot. I mean, you know. You gotta take a shot when you got your- I make beats, actually. Like an acoustic singer or songwriter. I think you would really like it. I'll send you some demos. Send me some. We got you a gift. Gift, appreciate it. I wanted to pay tribute. All right. J Jamel, my friend Jamel is here from LA. How you doing, Jamel? You did it? Does he like me? Frame my man off. 1942, wowzers. Wowzers? Yeah, this is the, this is for this you. the real deal. Man. I was thinking we could do like a drink champ style and I'll get wasted and you'll watch me get wasted and you'll be like, this is pathetic. To be honest, it's not good gift giving practice, but I had a little bit because I was nervous. So it's not so like you gave sealed. me a gift that you opened. Yeah, it's bad. It's, it's I like really that. I like that. Bad form. That's something it's that I would cool. do. It Really? Yeah. So we're kind of similar kind of guys. I don't know. No, we are. We are. You were a famous ghost writer. I'm a, I am ghost wrote for a lot of comedians. Oh, that's nice. Do you know Cat Williams? Sure. Yeah, I ghost wrote most of Pimp Chronicles. It was me. You know the joke about why do Mexicans dress their kids in wedding dresses and soccer shoes? Yeah. That was me. No. Yes, it was. That's crazy. <laughs> what an insane oh, thing to say. I'm doing all right, though. All right. That's all? Yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to party, dude. Who are you trying to party? Like Diddy. Like Diddy? Trying to party, party? What do you mean? What does that know. mean? I actually don't know. If you compared me to Puff, that's incredible. My man. May life be like Italian bread. What is that? Long with a lot of dough in the middle. I love it. So I told you um, before the show that I met Styles like it's rough on you? No, it's smooth, but it's rough. It's smooth, but it's rough. Should we put it on ice? No, no. I have to leave. Okay. Um, I told you I met Styles at a party. Sure. And I fucking sucked. I was like, Styles, like, the verses against, uh, against Dipset, that's history, bro. And then I walked away. I was like, you suck. Why? Because you can't be that kind of guy. You can't be like a white boy, like, going up to your favorite rappers and being like, Thanks for what you do for the culture. That was almost like the same thing, but it was said better. What, what, I mean, more, appropriate, what more appropriate thing you think you could have I mean, said it, to him? I mean, it, it, it was amazing. Yeah. You want to see the pic? I'm sure. wasted. Look at this. It's... Nine out of ten times, he was wasted also. Oh, yeah, you was wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you what he didn't like off this pic. I thought you loved no. it. This is my Can, brother. Tell me, tell he me. Wanna hear what yeah, he wanted to hear. Yeah, I'd love to. Please. He, he probably loved the remark, you know, the big up about the verses. 
He hated when you put your arm on. I was being paused? He, got a, he has a complex oh, he doesn't like to be with touched. people's arm. Nah, it's just something with pictures. He would have rather put his arm oh. on you. So, oh. so he hates me. He don't hate you, he just hates that. He wants to touch me, but he doesn't want me to touch him. How weird is that? I, I see it. Suck. Look at his face. I'm wasted. <laughs> Dude, so to what you extent? Look totally different right there. I got a haircut. You got a switch. Yeah. Well, you know how the switch looks. You. I'm wearing this. I'm wearing this right now, but normally I. I like that. You I mean, like this? Yeah. I got these uh, in Texas. This cap. If you get them from, you would have got them from Soho. That do don't you think go. They're, you think they're, they're cool? Yeah. Thank you. So I like grew up listening to rap. You know, are you aware of the fact that like when white boys my age are together, we're just talking like you. I'm just like with my Jewish friends and then we're just like, Ari Stern, Soya Jacobs. <laughs> we change out of our street clothes, we put on full Mitchell and Ness, and we just, we just are you. The conversations I've been in with other white boys, Papoose might be the next Jay. No, nah, you know how dope that is though? It's not dope. It is. That's you dope. You don't have man. to gas me. Not nah, gas me. You with your friends sitting around having those kind of debates. It That's would, real hip hop. It would be so cool if you chilled with us. If you joined the crew, I could put you on the group. I can't join the crew. Come on, bro. I could chill with y'all maybe for man, give me a 25 chance. minutes to like 25 to 40. Just give me a shot, dude. I need a lot of this. Good. I'm putting you in the group chat right now. We're gonna have a debate about top five of all time. Oh, uh, So that conversation sucks. It sucks. They just try to make like an art form into ESPN. It's like a religious argument because it, it's never ended. And plus we know the top five. Matis, Yahoo, Macklemore, <laughs> Jack Harlow. <laughs> Jack. Me, Bob Dylan, top five. It's a nice five. This is gonna bomb. I'm trying to flex, but you're not gonna care. The Warlocks were the original name of two other bands. And it wasn't rap groups. They were bands. Yeah, so I don't care. Do you wanna know the answer? Sure. The Grateful Dead and the Velvet Underground. Wow. When did rap stop being like, like Mary had a little lamb. Like when did it stop being like ner like? I'm yeah. much older than you, so when I was little, that's when rap was sounding like that. And then how did it change? People had babies that grew up that yeah. studied that style that and they were like, created a new style. But did the nursery rhyme guys were like, "What are you doing talking?" It about? wasn't there when I came in. The I'm nursery rhyme guys, the nursery rhyme guys <laughs> were in nursing homes. Can I tell you when I first saw you? I was maybe 12. I saw you in the Allen Iverson commercial, the Reebok commercial. And that was the like first place to see me. It right? was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. You know what was stupid about that? I had a Jets jersey on. What are your, what are your New York team? Knicks. Yeah. Knicks. You don't care about football. Well, I like when either one of them are good. Giants or the Jets. Well, they, they had G. Lai Manning, dude. David yeah. Tyree, Helmet Cap. I was, I, was, I was repping hard as ever. That was the most incredible Eli thing I've ever Tom seen. Tom Brady. That guy. Oh, golly. 1942. Golly. <laughs> Have that like G Shucks guy win I know, it two sounds chips. just like Eli. It's great. Golly. <laughs> I'm doing it for New York. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Yeah. He, sounded, he pulled off some incredible stuff. And he man. cooked Peyton. Payton only got one. Cooked them. So did Bush knock down the towers then? I don't know. What happened with that? O'Reilly got mad at you? Yeah. That was success. That's success? Yeah. You coming got in Coming from there. where I'm coming from, once I rung O'Reilly's bell, it was like a celebration. But you should have cooked him. You nah, modified nah, the statement. Wanna, I was a little nervous though, I felt. I felt like there was people was on me. Homeland Security like, was like, they was behind me. And where were you in 9 11? In the bed. Why do they call you Al Qaeda Jada then? It's rhymes. No. Because the real thing is called Al Qaeda. 
know. Yeah, made sure I you threw it off run. a little before when they, yeah, you see? <laughs> I'm smarter than you think. I know how smart you are. Oh, you know. Do you know you're the best? I, I believe I'm the best of I can be. But like, actually, just like be real. You know you're the best. Say that. You said it, not me. Well, it's the opinion of a Jewish man from New York. And from, that means uh, the most. Las Vegas, In today's Nevada. climate, that means a lot. Thank you. <laughs> You're so full of shit. You're welcome. <laughs> when Jim Jones is like, you don't make songs for girls. He was Jim basically didn't being, say that, Joel said it. Yeah, he was basically being like, uh, pause, and then you dropped Honey, and then Jenny from the blog. It was like, that is a comprehensive big, headshot. Big songs. The biggest. Big songs the biggest. for the ladies for the most for I the girls i still don't know why he said that to this day i don't want but out of everything that happened with that whole night that was one of the most craziest things it's a crazy he brick. could have said actually it wasn't a brick it was an alley-oop because he threw it off the backboard and uh, really we just came and tomahawked it off. that's your perspective is that he hooked it Definitely. up for you yeah that was jordan flu game now I'm acting like I was, because I had one of these. You're supposed uh, to have two of them. Okay. You're I feel like you away, like yeah. me now. You're fast talking. You I from feel, Brooklyn? Yeah, uh, spread love, it's the Brooklyn way. You are? No, I'm from Las Vegas, but I live in Brooklyn. I see that you got some Brooklyn in you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> <laughs> That's, wow, thank you. I don't doubt. I, you have some Las Vegas in you. At Vegas is where I wore the shiny suit. So you did your homework. What? I like how you throwing these shots at me, and I like how you shiny suits, <laughs> Las Vegas. Of course, you know the first time I ever wore a shiny suit was in Las Vegas at Mace's video. Feel so good. That was my favorite song, in Fifth Grade. That's what got me into rap. That's dope. Cause his like voice was like it sounded like a kid. You know, yeah, it sounds like a baby. Like a, he sounds like a little baby. So I'm like, oh, this is like a kid rapper like me. Like, I'm, well, not a rapper, but a kid, you know? He made you think you can do it. You can do it. My grandma took me to Borders Books, and I asked her to buy me Harlem World. Then my friend burned oh, oh, me oh, on hold CD. Hold on, hold on. Let's go back a little. Go Borders ahead. Books sold CD or tapes? Yes. There used to be, there, people used to go to stores to buy books and CDs. But they're all wow! I never, I never, I never bought a book in the CD unless it was audio, and I bought that offline. Mace was my favorite rapper, and then I heard, I got Harlem World for my grandmother, and then. <laughs> oh, grandma! Okay, and then I heard he was on another song with this guy, Notorious B.I.G. I got none into of that, that song. had nothing to do with how you met me off. How no, you but said you that were video. On that album. So why did it take you to life after death to hear me when I was on 24 Hours to Live on all of them? Because it was too adult. Uh -huh, it was you didn't too do adult. It too adult, my ass. It was, I'm just too quick. Baby. I couldn't, bro. I couldn't. Quick, too quick for you. I couldn't confront mortality like that. I had to mature to understand that life is a precious gift and it ends one day. That's a fact. Now you talk. Now you all. Now you batting a thousand. Can I get a juice yes. named after me, a Juices for Life? Sure. Thank you. What kind of fruit you like? Um, you allergic to peanut butter? That's fake. Allergies are allergies are all lies. I don't believe No, they're not. Are you allergic to anything? Cats. Yeah, me too. Actually, I take it totally back. I fucking hate them too. I have I a, love, oh, I love animals. I don't have any, but I had one when I was little. But yeah. the way, I didn't really have to walk them a lot. I could let her out the back door. Your parents walked them? Everybody that looks like me doesn't come from the projects. No, I know. So You're I grew from... up with a house, with a backyard, My with a dog. My wife is from Yonkers. Sort of nice like place. Lassie. Had a little fairy. It looked like this rug. Is this traumatic? His name was Gizmo. Dog? Gizmo? Yeah. He was a good guy? He was a great dog. My dog is, uh, attack, does, is a, uh, doesn't like other dogs. I know a good lawyer that can spring him. Can, yeah, can you? Jewish lawyer. Who's your lawyer? He's Jewish. Really? Yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Don't worry. Can't say it online. Is it secret society of lawyers? Is Alan Dershowitz? <laughs> Not at all. Yes, it is. You have a pedophile lawyer? Not at Come all. Come on, bro. I have Trump's lawyers. Rappers like him. Money was floating around when Trump was in office. Yeah. The most shrimps, the most Dior's you ever seen. 
Right. Now everybody's broke again. Joey B ain't sending no money to the hood. Trump's Trump was Trump like, sent money to the hood. Obama gave us phones. Obama was Clinton was selfish. He got his own head. He got he got he got head before yeah. self. It's not like he gave everybody a voucher for head. Did you ever meet that lady, Super Head? Actually, I did. She's a nice lady. She, did you ever? I go? met her mom actually too. Oh, she was a flight attendant on a flight we was on. Did you ever get cool one? Lady, no. Nah. You never got a blow job off of. No. Nah. Did any of your friends get? I wonder how good it was. It must have been incredible. I don't know. Do you know who the original Superhead was? How I many is it? Is cool. Who's the original? Nancy Reagan. No, it's true. It's true. Nancy so, Reagan was the original Superhead. I swear to God. You should get merch that say that. She sucked off all of 1950s Hollywood. She would go to like execs' offices that, and they would be like, "You have to, you have to get this head. It's unbelievable." That's how she became the first lady. Well, I think that was before she met Ronald. Oh, definitely before. That's how she. And then, that's how it led up to that. Before they, they invented crack cocaine, yeah. she was she was fucking and sucking. And they was in on that too. You don't have to say no to twice. drugs. Why well, they let the mother load it? It's crazy that she must be the most successful throat goat. The throat goat is crazy. She got all the way to the White House. You suck your way to the Oval Office. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love getting my dicks on. Anyway, um finish this lyric. J de moi. Kiss you, you bitch ass nigga. Why would you say that to me? We just met, bro. Finish it. Come on, man. I'm just doing Come my on. job. Why would you say that to me? Just doing We're my new job. Friends and you're saying you're, you you want to kiss me and then I'm a bitch ass. I'm just and doing my job. Thank you for calling me the last word. It's a, no it's a compliment in yeah. the Jewish community. Hopefully they don't cancel me. Do you have Drake's number? No. Yeah, you do. Oh, no. Can we FaceTime him right now? I feel like we have a lot in common. No. Please. You can't FaceTime him. I don't Please. have his number. Please, you do. I don't You're have Drake's me. number. No. You're lying to me. He's Drake Blade. Is, Drake is that dude. He's Blade for us. He's like a half, half vampire Jew and half a day walker. Do you have Ice Spice's phone number? No. Because there's been a misunderstanding. I just need to clear up. Well, what? She think you don't like her? In the media, yes. What you say about Ice, man? It's, it's ridiculous. My friend Nick, this guy over here, he didn't know who she was. He doesn't know anything about anything. He hasn't listened to a song since Why. Damn, he doesn't know Nick. anything, this guy. Nick, you got to catch up, man. It's fine. We love him for who he is. And our other friend, this British guy, Lulu, uh, some guy, he, he DM'd her and she, she left him on red. And then Nick said, who is that? The Eskimo Spice Girl. Eskimo Spice? Because, you know, scary spice, sporty spice. But where they get Eskimo from? She's from the Bronx. Because ice. Oh, okay. I make, so right. he, didn't know who, he didn't know she was from the Bronx? I'm not mad at that. That wasn't, you know. You, so you are going to go on the record and say that makes sense as a bit. I know her. I mean, I don't know. I know of her. But I can see where he put Eskimo with Ice Spice. He, Nick doesn't know anything. He's an idiot. He's a professional comedian. He I, heard, I don't even know the Spice Girls. Though. He doesn't even know the Spice Girls. Oh, well, then you ain't, he's not here. So next time you see her... Nick is no longer with us. <laughs> <laughs> we got in big trouble because of that, right? And the guy that was on our podcast was dating Taylor Swift. They just broke up. And they up. just did this song. They did a song because of us. Y'all we, caused that feature? We were the reason. That's for, oh, that's we were the it reason. Is. That's amazing. Us. Let's go ahead and get our drink champ. Drink champ. Drink champ. Yeah. Drink champ. Drink champ. That was fucking awesome. That was totally awesome. Isn't that incredible? But that's the, that's the beautiful, beautiful thing with music. Features get created, not often the most weirdest things. Yeah. People would never think y'all the reason that Taylor Swift and Nice Spice did. Yeah, they don't give us credit. Hey, you ain't getting your flowers, your publishing, your producers credit. Well, Taylor credit. Swift and Ice Spice saw I was getting a lot of criticism in the media, and they put it out to protect me. And I appreciate that. You gotta that. appreciate it. They've never even met me, and they saw that there was a man never in Never even Carol. met you, and they still protect you. I love it. See the rap? Heard that bar? I heard it, dude. 
Do they ever come up to you and mistake you for the guy that played in the fly? Yes, Jeff Goldblum, all the time. They do? Yeah. You look like Jeff Goldblum Jr. I get it all the time. You look better than him, though. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You use more lotion than him. Can I ask you a serious question? Oh, so these other questions wasn't serious? No, they were all goofs. Oh, okay. I've been listening to hip hop like my whole life, right? Mm -hmm. During like the 90s, it was like we sold drugs to survive and now we have a lot of money and now we're having a great time. And I think nowadays people are like, we got a lot of money and but we feel lonelier than ever and we don't trust anyone around us. Now. We sold drugs. Really? They're doing them. That's the change. That's the change. And that makes you, that makes the songs somber and that's why it makes us feel like I don't trust anybody around me because we were selling them to try to make money. But you now they're like, doing them because yeah. they already have money. Have you ever told them, get it together? Buck up. It's not It's not my job to tell them that. Really? Yeah, I have my own kids to tell that. Are they good kids? They're great kids. Really? Who's your favorite one? No, no all of them. All of them? Yeah. You, ha you have one. I almost said none of them. You did. Drink champs. <laughs> Can we face some drink, please? No. We have so much in common, dude. It's gonna be hard for you to meet Drake. Why? My friend Shane met him. Shane, that's Shane. I found such a funny website last night. I like screenshot it. I'm gonna read it to you. Your this Segway is... game is impeccable. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Thank you, bro. He can just be talking about sweet potato pies. Did you Listen, just you're... go to the Empire State Building back then? <laughs> Wimbledon, then come back then. I have attention. Drake, opposite. FaceTime. So this is from a, I, I, I searched like, because I feel like you're like kind of just a, like a normal good I guy. Am. You see that? Right? I, there are the like stories of you. The segue game is leads is because you see, I, you know, you're very comfortable with me and you also feel and see my intelligence. So you just know you can bounce around and I'm going to be able to I think, adapt. And I am. Though. Right. That's why I like I think even like the these, leg cross. I'm feeling it. Yeah. Pause. Yeah, like, yeah. Pause. Yeah. Well, ain't no pause. We thank grown you, men here. We're comfortable we're in our thank skin. You, you, we don't have to say pause. Pause. I think only people that's not comfortable in, with themselves. They're yeah. not alpha yeah. pack leaders. Like pause us. is for tape right. recorders. This website, this website, five surprising facts about Jadakiss. Number one, he started rapping to make money. <laughs> Duh! <Say. laughs> okay, number two, his first son is a rapper. That's surprising. Number three, he has twins. Number four, he is planning on settling down. How'd they get that? Why is all of it? Why, what is this, this question from? Tyler Perry? No, number Why five, he listen. has been arrested. That's a surprising fact. That's I think, not Wikipedia. <laughs> that formula right there is, is for every rapper. What's, what They've been formula? arrested. They have kids. They yeah. started rapping to make money. You were arrested in 2004 for um, marijuana and uh, gun possession in North Carolina? Yeah. Did you learn your lesson? Well, I still <laughs> smoke marijuana and I still own guns. I just don't carry them together or bring them on the tour bus yeah. when I'm on tour. Why do you make this fella just say, oh, it was mine? Uh, because they were mine. Oh, you're an honest man. Why would you throw away a human? You're a moral man. Facts. That ain't on my racket. I don't have a felony. Still clean as you. You might have one. Me? Yeah, especially talking about Ice Spice. Why are you not on my side about this Ice Spice? Thing? I am on your Just side, but I know that he's a good guy. They weren't saying anything wrong. If anything, it was offensive to, to the Inuit population. All right, I'll help you now. Don't tell my girlfriend, though. Go there? Because I kind of love her. Does she have you want to, is, is this a love thing with Ice Spice or are we just trying to fix the no, turmoil? it's a business, it's business, it's yeah, a business So your meeting. girlfriend can know that you fixed something that's going to... But I couldn't, not, it could not be a love date. I'm out of it. The name Jada Kiss. Could you tell us about your first kiss? No. Was it with Jada Pinkett Smith? I'm yet to have my first kiss. You haven't kissed? Yeah, I'm like A.C. Green. I never had a kiss yet. Yeah, he was a virgin, right? Yeah, I'm a virgin kisser. They you go straight to sex? Your lips are for milkshakes and, and, and soup. Mine are for the girls, beautiful uh, women. That's your lips. Yeah. You know what you beautiful want to do girls. with your lips. There's nothing Not like it. Don't worry about putting your lips in the wrong place. What, on a girl's, 
on, a girl's... on anywhere wrong, on a horse's ass. Any... The wrong thing is done. Why would I kiss a horse's ass? I'm talking about a gorgeous Would you kiss woman. a girl's... Vagina? Yeah. Are you that generation where it's gay to eat pussy? Nah, hell no. That's I came from the invented generation that invented eating pussy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't know I was with a scientist. It's one of my favorite things. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I guess she I She come around my way. You get a lot. Why would it be considered gay to perform cunnilingus on a woman? I played the fifth. Who invented uh, uh, the butt? Uh, I don't know. Drake? Your, age, I think your, it was your Drake. generation invented butthole flirting with. In Atlanta, a stripper said that she was. <laughs> why am I saying that? That, Drake, that she, was, uh, she was going down on Drake and that he, that he enjoyed his. And I'm like, wow. I played the fifth. I'm I like, golly, that... being a guy is so different now. Thank you. You rep us? Definitely. Oh my God. This is the best day of my life. I just want life. the people to know I'm happy to be here. Are your here friends having fun? Nothing. Yeah, they over there laughing. No, he's on his phone. <laughs> Who are you texting, girls? He loves kissing, this yeah. guy. <laughs> Look, definitely. He can't see, so he's that's blind. probably a text he got at about five that he's still trying to. He drives you? Yeah, he can drive his ass off. He just can't see Texas. That doesn't sound good for driving. It's kind of dangerous to have the name Nick. Why? If I say his name and then the word is afterwards, if I say it too fast. Nick is? I could accidentally. It's Nick is. It's not Nick is. Yeah, but I know what I'm you saying. You say it fast, it can get misconstrued, right? Nick is. Right, but I don't want to even go there. Yeah. I've never even listened to a not a clean version of a rap song. That's how careful I am. Nah, man, fuck that, man. Listen to the dirty version. I listen to Kanye that. made it clear for you. Kanye opened the floodgates for you to listen to N.W.A. Do you know the song Brothers in Paris? <laughs> it's a good song. <laughs> How's Kanye? You have well, I him? met like five or six different Kanye. Do you remember the when he was a nerd? Four was, the first four was awesome. The last two was a little bit. Couldn't you be like, do a Steve Harvey, be like, enough of this foolishness? No, music is sort of like a mind your business thing. Who's the best of your career that you've worked with? It's Storch, isn't it? No. Nah. It has to be Storch. We're not going, <laughs> we're not going to do an ethnic bias. Oh, selection oh, here. I didn't even know he was Jewish. Yeah, you did. Oh, so it's Rick Rubin then. <laughs> Not at all. Big shout outs to Rick, though. So that video of you guys in the studio with Storch, and he's smoking that big joint, and he's on the keyboard. Pause. Smoking marijuana is gay? The way you said it, smoking that big joint. <laughs> they might, that's a pause. I ain't even on pause time, but that was a pause, because you, you did the sign language with it and all of that. That's, that's definitely a pause. He was smoking that big dick in the studio. Bowsers. He said that he used to blow drugs into women's asses. And he called it the Miami Blizzard. That's pretty cool. Wow. Drink champs. Drink champs. Drink champs. <laughs> You're done. We did it. All right, we're going to go to the studio with little TJ right now. TJ's in California. What if I did the verse and you sent it to him and you were like, this is a Jadakiss verse and it's me like, uh, it's That'd me. be fucking awesome, dog. <laughs> you send a verse back and FaceTime yeah. him to get his reaction to me. Amazing. Can I try out the verse? Sure. She called me the dentiste. She sucked a panice. Called me Gary Sinise. Lieutenant Dan, that's a good one. It's you got bad. It, I heard worse. It. You got it. You got it bad when you're on the phone. Oh, sorry, I was just trying to. Now, I was trying to do the. Can we plug your coffee? Sure, that's what you feel. What are you watching? TikTok right now? Come on, sell your shit, dude. Kiss Cafe, uh, 
It's me and my dad and my son. We came up with it after verses. Where are they sourced? Where you get the beans? South America and Colombia. Nice. Off the boat from Hector. You know, this is not money for hire, paid gig. I got skin in the game. We're selling this. We're selling. We're gonna Kiss skin Cafe. in the game is pause. Beige you. What's beige you, know what you mean? mean? That means kiss in Portuguese. You said you don't like kissing. Get this right here or kisscafecoffee.com. Drink champs. Drink champs. Drink champs. Jada kiss. Coffee drink champs. Jada kiss. Brother. I feel like friends for life. How do you feel when I call you brother? My Amazing. Brother. Incredible. My soul brother. This was a smooth groove. Oh my God. Look at. This was a stone groove, Give me brother. The... You did. Give me a little touch. <laughs> Give me a little touch. <laughs> um, thank you so much, dude. It, it, it has been.